What is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and well this week we have huge news to drop especially when you're talking about the EV sector but this video specifically is going to be on workhorse. I mean we got to think Wednesday is the biggest deadline we you know have been waiting for as workhorse investors for a long time. Now I'm going to provide you my opinion on exactly when the United States Postal Service reveals workhorse as the contract winner so if you're interested i suggest you stay tuned right after this Before I announce Workhorse as the official victorians of this contract, I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, and now it's time to give Workhorse this trophy and dive into the video. Tell you what, as Workhorse investors, we have been looking forward to, well, what is expected to potentially come out on Wednesday, and that is the announcement for the United States Postal Service contract to go to Workhorse. And you know, I I have seen a ton of rumors floating around there, and a lot of people are you know speculating. I mean, the excitement, the anticipation is building up. So obviously, you're going to start seeing some more rumors. You're going to start to see some escalation in things, and obviously, I do feel you're going to start to see the same thing happen with the stock price. I do think a lot of people are going to start climbing on board, and you're going to start to see this you know stock price start to take off. Now, what I'm talking about when I say rumors and speculation and obviously all that thing is originally, you know, the, the contract was going to be valued at $6.3 billion. And I'm still standing firm on that. I do believe and I will provide you some evidence why I believe that it's still going to be $6.3 billion. But I have seen it escalate to about $8 billion, $9 billion, And then some people, you know, obviously started saying, well, what about $20 billion? And I found an article back in like way back when when it was saying potentially 20 billion you know here's where my thoughts are with the 6.3 billion and the reason i say that is because it's the amount that was passed when the bill was passed for them to you know start seeking out you know the electrical vehicle aspect and the reason is is because well let's just be honest we're seeing all kinds of you know tw tweets and articles and pictures of you know the old united states postal service vehicles catching fire I mean these things are engulfed in flames and it's just constant so obviously these things are decades and decades and decades old you know i think it was built in 1987 i mean that's that's a long that's a year before i was born so these things have been around a long time and i'm 32 years old so i'm going to provide you some information on why i'm convinced that it is still 6.3 billion dollars and either way that's a ton of money for workhorse and honestly, I, I do feel that they get majority of the contract. I really do. Um, and the reason I say it is just because they have built such a platform, such a foundation in order to getting everything that they need in place. They've gotten approved the way they should be getting approved. Obviously, we see how much CARB is starting to have an impact. And obviously, California is starting to make advancements when it comes to the gas vehicle not being allowed after a certain year to date. So... I think it's important that Workhorse was able to get all those approvals, all the certificates and everything in place. And that is a big reason why I feel that they are going to be at the forefront. So I'm going to provide you the information on why I still believe it's $6.3 billion. It says lawmakers haven't made much ground on passing long-term postal reform legislation, but House Democrats passed a $1.5 trillion infrastructure spending bill Thursday that would give the Postal Service $25 billion to modernize postal infrastructure and operations. The bill specifies that $6 billion of that money would go toward buying a delivery vehicle fleet, which is very important, obviously. That's what the contract is at. It says the Moving Forward Act, which is the act that was passed, or the bill that was passed, that would require the United States Postal Service to replace its fleets of Grumman Long Life I Set Fire Vehicles... <laughs> with at least 75% electric or zero emission vehicles. The bill would also require the agency to make at least 30% of its medium and heavy duty vehicle fleet electric or zero emission by 2030. 
And by 2040, the bill would prohibit the Postal Service from buying new, non-electric, or non-zero emission vehicles. Now, this is my honest opinion, and I personally feel this, and I felt like this for a while now. I do feel that with there being three people or three companies left in this, I do feel that two of them will be getting partial contracts. I do honestly feel that Workhorse gets 75%, maybe even a little bit more of the contract. And the reason I say that is like I stated earlier, they have done every single thing that they need to do and they've gotten everything in place. I'm, I'm just as much of an investor in this company as anyone else. I've got over 1,050 shares. You know, I've been keeping track of this thing since 2018. I've made my first initial investment back around then. You know, I've been in this with this company for a long time. And the reason I think that they get 75% to a little bit above that is because I do feel that Ford and Oshkosh are going to be able to present just a little bit. And as far as, you know, providing a service as well, they're also United States. And like it states right here, they have until 2030 to be, you know, a zero emission and it has to be completely decided upon by 2040. That gives Ford and Oshkosh the chance to continue to progress and get a full electrical vehicle. You know, as of right now, their option is hybrid. So that's just my opinion. Maybe by then they're like, hey, you guys aren't cutting it. We're not liking what you're doing. We're gonna get a full workhorse. Um, you know, and, and the reason I also believe that workhorse has gotten majority of this contract, if not all of it, I mean, it really still could have all of the contract is because of the partnership that they got with Hitachi and on top of that, you just don't go out and start hiring a ton of workers for a plant if you haven't got a lot of manufacturing coming your way. I mean, if you connect the dots right there, that just makes sense. You're not just going to go out and hire a ton of workers and just build more debt for your books if you don't have the vehicles to manufacture to, to do that. That just doesn't logically make sense. So that, in, in my mind, that connects the dots that they at least got something out of this deal. Now, the next big piece is when do they make the announcement there's a lot of you know speculation revolving around this obviously we know that the government's fiscal year ends on september 30th which is wednesday and it opens on october 1st and a ton of people are hoping that it happens this week personally i don't feel it happens this week and the reason i say that is just because i feel that it's just a date that was set. It, there was nothing that predetermined that this is going to be the announcement or this is exactly when the announcement is going to happen. Now, my honest thoughts are it's going to happen on October 14th. And that's a Wednesday. And the reason I feel that it's going to happen on October 14th is it just is a progressive, you know, it gets to the middle of October. And th that is a 90 day window at which, you know, they've made the announcement that they would make the decision speaking the United States Postal Service contract. So I do personally feel that it will be made middle to the end of October and my I'm going to throw a, you know, a dart and hope that it happens is going to be on October 14th. Either way, I'm holding for as long as possible. You know, there at no point am I intending to sell any part of my shares anytime soon. I'm going to hold this thing for a long time. I've obviously done a video that talked about you know workhorse getting a partnership with walmart so if that tells you anything at least on how far out i plan on holding shares i mean i really do believe that there is a lot for this company i don't personally feel you just go out and you get a partnership with hitachi if you're just going to be building a couple of trucks here and there or a couple of vans here and there for the likes of like a rider or the local moving company that they did with you know, in the state of Ohio, I just don't feel you go out and hire 300 plus workers, you hire for three shifts. And you know, it just to me that just logically doesn't make sense to do that, create more debt for yourself, if you're only going to be putting out the two vehicles you're estimated to put out here in quarter three, that just, I don't know, that just to me, that's, I can't connect the dots on that one. We have come to my favorite part of any video and that is chart breaking down time. And like I say in any workhorse video, it's time to saddle up. So let's swing on over here and saddle up. So we're gonna look at a one week chart. And the reason is, is because I want you guys to naturally see the drop off that occurred because of just the market being down in, in general. I mean, 
Workhorse can only go positive when the market is down so much. There can only be so much kind of hype around the EV sector before it actually is encompassed and taken over by this, you know, the market. When the NASDAQ is really taken on, you know, down and, you know, obviously Tesla is really down. I mean, that's when a lot of these companies are going to go down as well. So naturally people took some profits and obviously some big time you know companies took some profits things like that it's just how it works um so it opened on friday at 23 dollars 17 got as high as 25 dollars 65 and as low as 22 dollars 80 man that's an awesome buying opportunity this volume was 41.78 million and that's the type of volume i'm talking about i do feel that that volume is going to go up a little bit more in these next couple days this market cap is 2.608 billion 52-week high is $30.99. It's 52-week lows $1.31. And its average volume is $30.50 million. Now, it was up quite a bit on Friday. It was up 12.11%, closing out the day at $24.81. And then it completely wrapped up the week by closing out up an additional 0.12%, finishing out the week completely at $24.84. And like I stated, this is a one-week chart it did get down you know pretty low it hit the likes of $22 a little bit lower than you know the low on Friday it did hit you know I do believe uh, low 22s but people saw that as a buying opportunity and I did a video on that stating it you know it is a buying opportunity it gives people the opportunity to buy more shares that's all it was so I do feel a lot of people started to climb in add some more shares if they you know had them and that's where we settled in at now here is my projection moving forward when we're talking share price I do feel that if the announcement is made well first of all I'm gonna backtrack a little bit Monday Tuesday leading up to the announce potential announcement I do feel that this thing hits mid 30s I do think it touches $35 um, I think a lot of people are really gonna build up the anticipation if the announcement is made on the likes of Wednesday or Thursday I do personally feel that this thing runs to the $50 to $55 mark by the end of this week. I just think a lot of people are going to be like, holy smokes, this actually happened. The United States Postal Service contract awarded workhorse said percentage, you know, 75%, 100%, whatever it may be, and it's settling in. This actually happened. Tons and tons of people are going to start to climb on board. I don't think that it's factored in at all. I don't think it will be factored in at all beforehand. Now, let's say it's not announced. Do I feel that it's going to drop off? I do feel that it will. A lot of people will start to sell off. You know, a lot of people will take the profits from the initial Monday to Tuesday. But myself, I'm not going anywhere. I, you know, obviously, I'm standing strong. And my prediction date, like I stated, is going to be Wednesday, October 14th. Um, that's when I do feel that the announcement will be made um, officially. Uh, obviously, I am not a financial advisor. I don't have any inside loop on anything. That's just going to be my rough estimate on when I personally feel that this you know, contract will be awarded to Workhorse. And I do remind you guys, I am not a financial advisor. Anything I do say in this video, pure entertainment is you know, what I'm here to provide. I want to provide you guys with entertainment, keep you guys hyped up, keep you engaged with what is going on in stocks, especially the EV sector, because that is awesome. I enjoy presenting these videos to you guys, especially on the electrical vehicle sector. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you know, you got a little bit of entertainment, you got a little bit of excitement, you got some hype, you got some motivation, you got, well, a price target you were looking for. And you also got a guess on when the actual United States Postal Service contract is going to be announced. I do feel October 14th, which is a Wednesday, I do feel that's when it gets announced. Just a guess. So you guys know how I do it. If you like this video, smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And if you enjoy the content, because I'm going to keep the content flowing, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, have a good day.